Hi, Will. You don't know me. You can call me Mr. Nobody. I'm just a simple rugby fan, former player and also a coach of an under 12 team in France. Like a lot of people, unlike you, I'm sure, I am sad and I'm shocked. As you may know, two players in less than one year died on the rugby field in France, playing their preferred game in the rules. In last January in France, we were already deeply shocked by the accident of a young player, Samuel Ezeala. Hopefully, he was saved on the field by the doctor, but he was KO after being hit by another player in the rules. At this moment, I registered a short video. I was saying, I am afraid one day soon the player will not get up. We are less than 12 months after that, and two of them did not. It is a drama, Will. You know that. And I know, like every rugby player, you are solidary with their families. But this is not enough. This is absolutely not enough. And if I feel a bit sad, I also feel angry. Because I am quite sure that several simple rules may avoid these awful accidents. I already said that in my last video, but it was in French. I can understand it did not come to you. Now I am talking to you in English. I hope you will hear me. You see, it's not natural to me. But I consider, if you ban the frontal collision by making mandatory the handoff or making mandatory looking for an interval between two players while attacking the defense line. First rule. If you ban the offensive tackle above the waistline. Second rule. And if you ban the tackle by two players together. Third rule. You will avoid a lot of dangerous situations and you will promote the passing game. But this is secondary. I guess you're a former player, Will. So I can't talk to you like if we were from the same family. If you were my cousin or just my friend, I would tell you, what the fuck are you waiting for, Will? And I think I would add, move your ass, bro. Sorry for this language. As I tell my young players on every set on the field every Saturday, be brave and do not give up will. But if you don't feel it is your game, please get off your jersey and give it to another one. He will make the job. Because we need the things to change. Otherwise, players will continue to die. And rugby will be prohibited and will simply disappear. This is not an issue just for French rugby or English rugby or New Zealand rugby. I know that. This is not easy. I know that also. But it is your challenge. In memory of Louis, of Nicolas, and the others I don't know the names. And for all the kids whose preferred board is oval. I trust you will. Do not disappoint me.